Weather apps, instant forecasts in the palm of your hand. They show you the weather for the next hour, day or week, wherever you are. But interpreting the information can actually be quite tricky. So let me break it down for you. First of all, how do weather apps work? Well, meteorological data from weather stations and satellites around the world is analyzed by supercomputers, which create forecasts that are updated multiple times a day. The latest forecast is what you then see on your app. Some apps simplify the information into icons we're all familiar with, others are more technical and complex. But the important thing to remember is that these forecasts are usually based on probability. In other words, the likelihood of a specific weather event happening. This means there is always some uncertainty. Something might change, but expressing uncertainty in a weather app is not easy. Here's an example for you. You check the forecast for tomorrow and it shows a rain cloud with 70% by its side. Most of us would think, oh, it's going to rain because 70% is a high number, right? But what that 70% is actually telling you is how certain you should be of that forecast. It's just a number on a scale from zero to 100%. And only 100% would mean that it will definitely, without a doubt, rain at some point during the day. 70% tells you that rain is likely, that you should expect it, but things could still change. It doesn't mean that it will rain 70% of the time on that day, and it doesn't mean it will rain on 70% of the area you're looking at. And keep in mind that the app is giving you the latest forecast available, but the reality is that things can change very quickly. Apps make a new forecast as soon as they get new data, and then the symbols and numbers can change. Your app didn't get it wrong initially, it was just updating. So obviously, the further ahead you look into the future, the more likely things will change. And different apps have different algorithms or rules which decide which symbol is more important for any given weather probability. Here's another example for you. What if the forecast tells you there is a 30% chance of a torrential downpour with thunder and lightning at your location at 3 p.m.? Now, 30% is quite a small number, so should the app then display dry weather, which is more likely, or a torrential downpour? You'd probably want to be warned in case a massive storm hits you at 3 p.m., regardless of the probability. On the other hand, if there is a 99% chance of a few spots of rain, but the rain is going to be so light that you'd hardly notice, it would be confusing to show a rain symbol for the whole day. Some types of weather are actually more difficult to predict than others. Temperatures are usually fairly accurate, but showers are notoriously difficult to pinpoint. And that's because showers form very quickly, they cover a small area, and with the slightest change in wind direction, they can drift off their predicted course and miss your location. So forecasting the weather is really complex because a lot can rapidly change. Weather apps are actually pretty great at telling us what to expect, and as technology improves, they're only going to get better, but they'll never be 100% accurate for everyone, everywhere, at the same time.